Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Hall from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. All right, it's Cap from The Razor's Judge. I'm here on Saturday at Bloodstock, and I'm here with Joe from Earn. How are you, Joe? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired now, but... Um personally a bit buzzing because the boxing's on in a bit so I want to get in the, I fucking need to get some signal to uh, start watching it oh, I'll have to give you the Wi-Fi code yeah well the artist Wi-Fi code's terrible so yeah. I don't think ours is much better I'm afraid for you okay well I'll, I'll figure out so I'll be up a tree or something trying to get some so how are you feeling about playing Bloodstock this year yeah it's good it's been really thrilled we've had so much going on the last 18 months have been like have been pretty full on you know and it's um Today just felt like a bit of like a closing of a chapter, but it's weird because we just literally released a new album. But in a way, I'm feeling like we're kind of signing off on one thing, and it's I still need to get my head around it. Um, but you yeah, know, it, it's a privilege and an honour to play it, and um, yeah, now we're just you know, it's weird. It's, it's, it's I've got such a weird feeling about it, and now I'm just like, right, we need to start writing album number three, and this fucking one's only just come out, you know. You can't give yourself a break, mate. Yeah, I know, but I've got. <laughs> I mean, Angus are so slow at writing, writing like music. So I've got to try and nip ahead of the curve at some point. And um, the next one, we need to make it. We need to make it bigger and different, you know. So we're gonna. I think we're gonna do something different, and I think we're gonna make it interesting. And I'm already thinking about it. So you can um, see it in your face. Yeah. You're like, right, I've got these ideas, yeah. but I'm not gonna say anything. I'm yeah. just gonna keep it under wraps. I'm excited, but I feel like with us three, uh, I feel like we've not even scratched the surface of what this band's possible, like possible, like that, what we can deliver and what we can do. And I think if people, we've well, got a few mates, like someone's just pulled us over there, like who, who knows me and Angus from like our very, very first like real band, and that stuff is what essentially is put um, onto this this sort of track and um, I'm excited about what we're going to do because I think we're going to really push the boundary of what um, is. And the people who've heard the new album already and stuff obviously because they had it on press release like early copies you know it, it almost sounds like it's a bit more of a personal album what, yeah, yeah. what do you think? Oh yeah no it totally is I mean it's one of the one of the few times I guess I've, I've kind of wrote something really kind of bearing everything and I've, I didn't want to hide it behind like I didn't want to make the lyrics a bit like out there where you can't maybe understand I'm hiding the message I've made it quite like direct and to the point and um, yeah I think it's I think it's helped I think it's helped get you know the music across correctly and like the message across and it's added the power to the record so um, I, I'm I think it was the perfect thing to do with the music that we wrote for this. You touched there briefly in the previous question about your old bands, and for people who don't know, obviously you're in Hang the Bastard. Yeah, yeah, What's that transition been like of you know that that old band effectively dying, yeah, and yeah. then something new coming out of it? Yeah, I mean, I think with with Hang the Bastard, big thing. I never formed the band, so I don't have that uh, attachment to it. And Angus Lynn never formed the band. We joined out four good years, but. You know, I I think it ended. I mean, they've, I ended at the right time for that band. Like they've actually just sent out some form of a, a reunion, where they're just going to be playing a few shows here or there and what, whatever. Like, but you know, I needed to get back to doing what I know me and Angus did best, and we wouldn't have been able to do it within that band. Like music, like musically, we needed to really like push ourselves. And um, yeah, I had a great time doing it. But Ern is. Honestly, I, I wish I was doing a three-piece band my whole life. Like, I fucking can't stand people. So having only three of them, only three of us, fucking perfect, perfect, mate. And creatively, I think you, as an artist, although you're trying to please fans, you've got to please yourself as well, and you've got to oh. be proud of what you're putting out, haven't you? Oh, totally. I mean, I know it's, I know it's three of us in the band, but, like, the music's written by me and Angus, and I only need to... What I write has to impress Angus, and what Angus writes has to impress me. And if and you've I got high expectations, do you feel? Oh fuck yeah! Like, yeah. and we're getting a bit more. I'm straight to the point with it, and Angus is a bit more like, oh, and he does these faces. he will never be able to lie to me. I can tell, you know. And I'll be like, you think it's shit, don't you? And uh, oh, and it's that. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, just be honest, mate. Like, yeah. we've you've been you've been we've been doing bands for years, so um. But yeah, we have. I have high expectations. Maybe sometimes, just I'm, I'm, you know, maybe it's a bit too high. But I just want everything to be correct. And but there's nothing wrong with that because yeah. I think if you've got high expectations of yourself, why yeah, should yeah. you not expect that in others? Yeah, no, totally. But then the hard thing is, I was talking to Anna, I was talking to our TM earlier, and I was like, the killer is like, 
when I try and set like a standard and I fuck up, it kills me. Ah, mm. oh, kills me. I'll be thinking about things for weeks. I'm like, I can't believe yeah, I. One of those yeah. On it. yeah, and I'm like, I can't believe I made the mistake or I did this or I forgot to do that. So, you know, it shows. You know, I, I still need to work on my standards as well. But we're all everything's coming along nicely. We're putting everything in the right place and we're building a nice team here. So, you know. Fingers crossed we can keep adding to it and adding to it and uh, yeah, we can see where it goes. Definitely. So if you've got a new tour coming up, you've got some dates? We're actually doing a, a, a free uh, show a, in the Black Heart this Thursday to kind of celebrate. Mm -hmm. We can only play like a certain amount of time because of like contractual stuff mm -hmm. and then we are announcing something very soon, like very, very soon. And uh, I'm excited for it and Good. it's going to be, it's going to be interesting and um, you know, probably a bit nervous. Even though we've done some really great shows and tours, going out maybe on as a on your own is a bit slightly different. A bit daunting. Yeah, yeah, and I'm hey, like, keep your toes. yeah, I'm like, well, it, well, does, do people give a shit? Do you know what I mean? That's the thing, and I'm like, we get told they do, but we're still a small band, and like, you know, I don't want to turn up and play some some wherever, and you know, only your mates turn up or something. So I've sorted them out lists. So I'm just like, <laughs> fucking hell. So fingers crossed. You know, we'll see. We we'll know soon enough how it goes. But doesn't that make it? I mean, you've just got to see the reception ready. Though, yeah, yeah. People, people are going to be at those shows, Joe. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. And it's. I, I think, think people are getting out more now. Yeah. Buying yeah. tickets a bit more than they were maybe in the last 12, yeah. 18 months. Oh, totally. Like, I think, I think we we're, we're doing things right and. <laughs> I think it was a good time for us to do some things and I think we're trying to put together what I, you know, our management have kind of let me have a bit of a free reign with putting together, together a bill that I want to see and which is nice of them, they kind of trust me in that thing so if it does flop then I've fucked up, you know, <laughs> so um, I'll just blame it on the other bands. But, um, yeah, totally, yeah. we sold the tickets. Yeah, 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 well, I don't know what they were doing, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's exciting to see, but I will be, I hate when people go, oh, this is how many albums you sold. I'm like, don't tell me. Just let me live in ignorance. You know what I mean? Just, uh, yeah. I, 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 I don't want to know it that. Sounds like you're just somebody, you've got big expectations and you want to live up to them. And yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. And yeah. It's a bit, yeah. Oh, yeah. People will like that. Yeah. The music industry might be very different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, totally. Like, I, I, in my mind, I'm like, oh, we should be doing this. And if maybe we don't hit that mark, I'm like, right, why? Who did, who did something wrong? Was it me? Probably was. Or do we need to just improve in our other areas? Like, you know, it, I'm still, it's all weird. Oh, sorry. It's all weird. You know, as long as, you know, I've been doing bands in the X amount of years, but always learning. You know what I mean? And that's the thing, like, if I ever thought I'd, if, if I ever thought I'd learn everything I needed to know, there's no problem with doing a band then. Um, like when I constantly learn things every day but from music and it's not doesn't mean I'm on tour doesn't mean I'm at a festival it could be just something sitting at home so I'm always trying to like take in knowledge and that just to make something better for us so and music as we know you know you've been in the industry and that's been quite crazy it's ever evolving and yeah. you've got to evolve with it or you will get that behind yeah yeah totally yeah. and I mean I've, I think I've missed the boat uh, once or twice before and I never thought I would be able to step on that boat. And uh, thankfully, you know, we're about we're about to like chip it off and forget about it, me and Angus. And then we said, oh, let's just do one more thing for a bit of a laugh. And that little bit of a laugh took us to America to record with Joe and took us here, here like, all over the place. And um, it just happened to be our time, the, you know. And uh, the other times it weren't meant to be, but. And it's a really good way to look at it yeah. you could beat yourself up couldn't yeah you? yeah totally yeah. And, I mean at least I've kind of got a, a chance I'm not you know, I'm not here thinking oh we're metallic or anything but we have a chance to maybe create something and uh, I'm glad we got that and I would have been gutted if I felt like we, we constantly missed the boat and I never got that chance to kind of express my version of what I like to write about metal and we, we finally kind of got it so we'll see before I let you go, just to ask you, is there anybody else you're going to try and catch today? Anyone that you're really interested well, in seeing or you've seen before you play? Annoyingly, I, I really wanted to watch Crowbar, but then I was sitting there and I was like, I can't be bothered to move my legs. So I just listened to them. I was fucking shattered, mate. I want to watch a bath because I don't even know what time he's on. But I'm like, it's either he's got that sort of thing where it's either going to be amazing 
are like, yeah, disaster. But like, if he goes up there and plays the bangers, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. So fingers crossed. Who are you listening to that you could recommend for us and our listeners to listen to? Really random. I was never a fan of him. I didn't. I say I was, ne- I was never the singles. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, sure. The new Villavallo album, it's like a Nordic pop rock album. I fucking love it. I'm obs- like obsessed with it. Um, and we all are in a band. Like we saw him in a festival, and we met him. Lovely guy. I watched him, and, I, and our content guy is a big Kim fan, and it was like, it was amazing. And I just can't stop listening to the album. Like I'm, a, I'm fully, fully obsessed. Fully on board with it. Right? Yeah, God bless him. I'm like, yeah, mate. You're like after, after twenty. He rings you up and he's like, come on, Joe, I want to do like a bit of collab. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Go. I would love to have him sing on our stuff. Like, but I think it's amazing. Um, and what else have I been? I listen. To, I, listen I like. I like listening to old music. It's, you know, I, I, I do. I try my. I'm actually trying harder now to get in in with all like not in with the new bands but to be on kind of a sort of a pulse of it yeah. um, but I like listening to old old soul music makes me happy so be it going home be it listening to some Temptations or Wilson Pickett or putting a bit of the Drifters on that's that's what gets me saying that completely different I've been listening a lot to uh, the first two George Michael records recently um, did you watch the documentary? The Wham one, yeah, yeah, great, yeah, no, it's great, and it's it's such he's a bum. A really good singer. Yeah, yeah. A really good artist. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he just there's just something there's, there's just, when he hit that stride, and it was almost a bit like I'm watching it and I thought fair play to the other guy to know that he can't keep up with how good George is. Oh, absolutely, so, he was ready to just take a step. Yeah, back, and then and that's George. Great strength. Yeah, and then boom, but like yeah, the the first two George Michael records I've I've been listening to spinning a lot. Um, and one that I listen to all the time, Survivor, Vital Signs, come out in 1984 or 85. One of the greatest soft rock albums ever. Jimmy Jameson on vocals. God bless that man. Handsome bastard. That that guy's voice. I mean, should have been should have been a giant. And uh, but that. Maybe he missed that boat. Yeah, I mean, he obviously Survivor did some great things, and he—I'm sure he did the Baywatch theme. I'm sure he had, I was sure he had a pretty packet. But when I see some other singers, and I think, oh, that guy. He was up there. Yeah, yeah, that's Survivor albums. Great, great pop rock. Great pop rock. So yeah, that's what I've been listening to. That's been my number one played album for the last seven years, actually, on on streaming things. I'm like, oh. When you do your Spotify yeah, yeah. at the end of the oh, year. Oh, Shock Horror, fucking hell. Never saw that one coming. Yeah, I'm addicted to it, so yeah. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.theraziseedge.rocks.